Good day, Fluties. You'll instantly feel more validated and energized with this quick discussion of 10 things I wish I knew before I started the flute. But hey, it's not all about me. If you're brand new or you've been at it for a while, I think you'll find you understand exactly what I'm talking about. Remember, if you haven't yet to subscribe here, do it now and be sure to hit the bell for notifications so that you'll be notified when new videos are ready because I'm making these for you and I don't want you to miss a beat of the musical goodness and enjoyment for our instrument, the flute, and what we have to offer at Learn Flute Online, which is a course and a membership site that can't be beat. We're geared towards your success on this instrument. So with that being said, let's get started today with 10 things I wish I knew before I started the flute. You'll find these interesting and I'd like you to think in your mind and in the comments section if you agree and if you've experienced each one of these yet on your flute journey. Now flute players have quick minds. We flute players learn to use both our left and our right sides of our brains and especially because we use both hands one crossed over our body to the other side and facing the other direction. And then we use rapid repetitive finger combinations to change pitches on our instrument. This type of cross patterning especially uses both hemispheres of the brain and helps activate even more neuro pathways, which are used in communication, thinking speed and retention. I'm excited to take that into my mature years. Flutists are very competitive with themselves. Flute players are passionate people, full on dedication and enthusiasm for music, and this gorgeous instrument leads to striving for musical excellence. And this type of effort towards excellence most oftentimes leads to a type of competitiveness, which is a great thing when paired with long-term vision and goals. And this results in the ability to learn how to get what you want. Sounds awesome, right? Flutists are also very competitive with others. Now maybe because of the nature of the instrument flute and how it's a higher pitched, like a treble instrument compared to others, flute players tend to develop characteristics over time of leadership, which includes an assertive or a competitive mindset. And this is really great and can be used in home life and other professional situations for the rest of our lives. I'll take that to the bank and back again. We're kind of perfectiony. Certain things bother us. A flute player's desire to have things right is a good thing in music and in life. And knowing how we like things is the number one way to make sure that we create the life we want. It's kind of like having the golden touch. Flute players develop radar for things that are amiss, making it so that we're totally bothered by a few things like when a cartoon or someone on TV mimics playing the flute wrong. Those hands, what are they doing? Or when there's literally nowhere to breathe in the music. When whoever wrote the music didn't even bother to make sure there was anywhere for a flute player to officially breathe, goodness. <laughs> well, there are reasons for this, and it's usually because the composer was either a violinist or a pianist. But hey, we figure things out like breathing musical superheroes. <laughs> are any of you flute players a bit squeamish when a drop of water falls out of the end of your flute while you're playing? Yeah, me too. That's definitely on the top of the gross list and something I didn't know about before I started the flute. Swab swab. Before I started playing the flute many years ago, I had no idea that this one thing would be at the top of the list of worst things ever for a flute player. And that is having a bad tone day. Seriously, why? <laughs> well, of course there are reasons and I'm excited to be able to help out with lessons and resources for you so that you can have more and more nice tone days for the rest of your life. Which brings us naturally to the next thing on the list, which is that having a great tone day with our flute is actually one of the best feelings and causes the sun to shine brighter, <laughs> enhances our mood, and reminds us that we should always do whatever we did again tomorrow. <laughs> Let me help you gain consistencies in your playing so that you can have amazing tone days every single day. Before I started the flute many years ago, I had no idea that I would get more satisfaction from this instrument than from any other. And I think some of the reasons are because the sound of the flute is being produced by our own airstream and our body. And the sound that comes out of the flute 
is a direct result of what we pour into it, and it feels incredible when we produce music that is so tangible it can be felt inside our souls. We also spend the rest of our lives searching for that beautiful sound that we love. And here's a bonus for you. Once we gain the skills it takes to play music that resonates with our soul, we will find the desire to spend the rest of our lives searching for even more of that beautiful sound we love. Let me help you with the knowledge, expertise, and shorten the learning curve to get you there. Check the links in the description here to get your hands on what will lead you to the Learn Flute Online success path. See you again soon.